Hi, I'm Chad Wunderlich with Viking Pump, and this is a pump. It's a machine for moving liquids from point A to point B. But first, I'll need to connect pipes to the ports. Hmm, this is probably a good time to talk about ports. You're watching The Pump Report. Ports are the connection point between the pipes and the pump. Just like electrical connections, the connection type varies by geography and requirements. They need to match in size, type, and rating. Let's go over the most common questions regarding ports to clear up any misconceptions and avoid cases like this. What are the most common pump port connections? There are two common types of pump ports, threaded and flanged. Threaded connections are made with taps and dies to create screw threads in matching sizes and thread form to create a mating pair. Just like nuts and bolts, it's important that the pipe and pump threads match. Flanges are flat ports, which mate together with a gasket between the faces for sealing. Bolts join the flanges together and are tightened to compress the gasket and seal the joint. But what are the advantages of each type? For iron pumps and strainers with small ports, threaded is the standard connection type. Typically these are 2 inch ports and smaller. Ancillary connections like jacket ports, gauge ports, and drain connections are also typically threaded. Threaded connections are commercially available, economical, and require no additional hardware. With sealant and proper tightening, these make an effective connection between the pump and system. Flanges offer several advantages to threaded ports. First, while they do come in 2 inch and smaller sizes, they are also offered in very large sizes where threaded ports would be difficult to machine and connect. They also make it easier to remove individual pumps or other components from a system. By removing the bolts, the pump can be pulled axially from the unit and reinstalled the same way. What are the most common port standards? I would mentioned before, it's critical to know what standard is being followed to ensure that the pump supply will connect correctly with your pipes and equipment. For threaded ports, Viking Pump follows the American National Standard Taper Pipe Thread. This is the most common standard used in North America and is more commonly known as National Pipe Taper or simply NPT. In nearly all cases, the pipes have an external or male threaded end and the pump and fittings have matching internal or female threads. A similar thread standard, British Standard Pipe Taper or BSPT, is the European equivalent to NPT. The fittings will look very similar but will not mate together without the use of adapters, similar to our electrical plug analogy. Just like threaded ports, flange ports come in a variety of designs and standards too. Viking Pump commonly follows ASME, DIN, and SAE standards. But what's ASME? Are those the same as ANSI flanges? ASME maintains a set of flange standards commonly used in North America. These standards have evolved since they were first introduced over 100 years ago by the AESC. The AESC was later renamed the ASA, which was later renamed the USASI, which was later renamed ANSI. Are you confused yet? The important thing to remember is that while the name has changed, the set of standards has stayed the same. But this has led to confusion. You'll find documentation online at various sites for ASA flanges, ANSI flanges, ASME ANSI flanges, and ASME flanges. ASME is the current and technically correct designation for these standards. Don't panic when your specification asks for ANSI flanges. They're the same thing. So ASME flange standards, are there more than one? There are several flange standards that ASME publishes. The ones most commonly applied for Viking pumps include ASME B16.1 for cast iron, B16.5 for carbon steel and stainless steel, and B16.42 for ductile iron. Within each are a variety of classes. The class defines the dimensions of the flange and the pressure rating of a flanged connection created by flanges matching those dimensions in the material specified. The specification is asking for 150 pound flanges. Is that the ASME class? Pound ratings are an old designation. Today, ASME prefers the term class. If your specification is asking for 150 pound flanges, that's the same as class 150 flanges. Just like the old ANSI terminology, pound ratings yet to be updated can still be found in a lot of online resources. The term class is preferred because using 150 pound can lead to the false assumption that the resulting flange connection would be limited to 150 psi, pounds per square inch. 
ASME Class 150 flanges are rated to pressures higher than 150 PSI at ambient temperatures. And at very high temperatures, these flanges would be rated to pressures lower than 150 PSI. Using the current class designation helps to clear up this misconception. These old pound designations date back to steam ratings, which are at elevated temperatures. For example, class 125 flanges are rated to 125 PSI at 450 degrees, but are rated to 200 PSI at ambient temperatures. Here are some common ASME flange classes used by Viking pumps. Okay, so can class 150 pipes be connected to a cast iron pump with class 125 flanges? Yes, class 150 and class 125 flanges share common dimensions and can be joined. It's very common that steel pipes are connected to cast iron pumps. The same rule holds true for class 300 joined with class 250 flanges. It's important to remember that the resulting joint would be limited to the lower of the two pressure ratings. It's also important to remember not to join class 125 flanges with raised face class 150 flanges. So what are raised face flanges? Flanges can be offered either flat or with a raised face. Flat face flanges are machined flat across the entire mating surface. Raised face flanges feature a raised ring near the middle where the gasket is compressed and sealed. The surrounding surface where the bolt holes are located is machined back. This creates more sealing pressure due to less area of the gasket. Even though the flange is machined slightly thinner than its flat face counterpart, this does not affect the pressure rating. Raised face flanges should not be used with class 125 flanges, as over tightening of the bolts can lead to cracking of the cast iron flange. What are DIN flanges and SAE flanges? ASME is currently the most common flange standard used in North America. But in Europe, the most common flange standards are DIN. As you could have likely guessed, these are like ASME flanges in general design, but with metric dimensions, and the ratings are in bar rather than PSI. One nice change is that the ambient temperature ratings are clearer in the class names for DIN. For example, PN16 flanges are rated to 16 bar at ambient temperatures. SAE flanges accommodate higher pressures than ASME or DIN connections. These flanges utilize adapters that are welded to the pipes or adapt to another connection type. An O-ring in the adapter creates a seal between the mating surfaces. Well, that was a lot, but there was a lot to cover, and in the case of making sure you have a good connection between the system and the pump, it pays to be thorough. If you'd like to learn more about ports or to view other pump reports, please visit our website at vikingpump.com.